Hello guys, so you may be wondering how I ended up in this situation and it's kind of a long story, you know? It all started when I found a new glitch, so let me tell you all about it, okay? Welcome to another glitch video. In this one, I'll be showing you how to make really weird things. And the past glitch video featured a bunch of different glitches and this is going to be using the same base idea, but I'm going to be doing some different things with it. And in this video particularly, I'll be showing you how to make things float while they're still connected. It, it might not make sense at first, but I'll show you exactly what I mean. So, there are two different ways to do this glitch. One is less stable, meaning it can break, uh, but you're able to save it on your lift and load it back up. So if you're playing in creative, this is a great way to be able to save your creations. The other one is way more stable, you're able to move it on your lift, you're able to do more interactions with it, but you can't save it on your lift, it's gonna say in valley joint position. So I'll show you both ways, they're using the same base but a bit differently, and then we'll check what you can do with it in survival as well. So to make the first glitch, all we need is really just a, a piston, any type of blocks, and some object that is whatever size or distance you want the different flying parts to be from each other. To do this glitch is really really simple, all we do is just place down a piston, place down a single object, make sure it's not like dragged out blocks because you can't break this in one swipe. So we place down this object and then we place down whatever we want to float around this object. So let's just place a few switches just like this. And then while this is on the lift, make sure it's not off the lift, it has to be on the lift. We can break the engine itself. If we do this, these are going to fall off and still be floating. Very strange, but it happens for some reason. So that's a thing. And these are now connected magically. I don't know how they're connected. There's nothing in between them. It's just air, but they're still connected. The issue with these though, is if I move it on my left, it's going to break. And this is what I mean by them being unstable. There is a way we can still save it to a lift and load it back in, but we won't be able to move it on a lift like normally, like you should be able to. So let's just redo this glitch and see if I can save it on my lift. Also do know that you can place anything on here, like I can make anything float, it doesn't have to be switches. That's just what I placed down because I like the way they look. So we're still able to weld these onto things. I can make a structure and then just weld this onto here and they're still gonna be floating around where I weld them. I can also place down a bearing and then weld this onto the bearing and make the bearing spin to make the different things spin around the bearing in like an orbit-ish without still being connected. The thing I can't do though is I can't place down a block and then break it again. If I were to place down a block it still works, but as soon as I break this block, they're all gonna fall apart. So the cool thing about being able to weld is if I make a structure on my lift like this, then I can still weld this onto the structure and it's going to think it's on the lift. So let me just weld this right here and then now I can save this to my lift. Let's just save it as unnamed and I should be able to load it back in. And they're still going to be floating. It's so interesting that it happens, because all you need is just a, a piston. <laughs> I It might just work with suspension too. I haven't tested that though, let's see if it works with the suspension. Yep, works with suspension. Does it work with bearing? Works with bearing as well. That's very strange. So I guess any type of thing that makes this creation loose still works for some reason. And that only concludes piston, suspension and bearing. So that actually makes this glitch a whole lot easier if you don't even need a piston. <laughs> so I guess I discovered something new in the makings of this video. This glitch is cool and all, uh, but the issue with it is if I were to want to make a base like floating in the sky in survival. I wouldn't really be able to build on the base. I could place down blocks, but it would get really annoying as soon as I want to break blocks or weld something together because I can't just place this on my lift and start welding. So there is another glitch that is quite a bit harder to do, but it works way more consistently. And this glitch uses the 
magic connection glitch that I showed in my previous video. So make sure to watch that video as well. I'm gonna leave a card in the end of this video. So you can just click that or check the link in the description if you wanna watch that and get some context to how all of this works. So the most consistent way to do it is using suspension. I tend to crash a lot when I use the piston, but it does still work. There are quite a few steps needed to do this glitch, but I'll be taking you through them. So we start off by placing two blocks next to each other, and then we drag up three blocks. We place down a suspension, put it to strength one, and then we place a block up here, so it's connected to the suspension. Now we can delete this lift, and this should land upright. And then we can place another block on this wall. Make sure it's not on this block, but on this wall, to where the suspension light up screen. Place down a block, and then I can move this on my left. So we should be left by a block laying on the ground. And let's just mark the top of this block by anything. We can use a switch or another suspension or uh, just anything to know which side is the top. And then we want to reach the bottom of this block. So let's hit it with the hammer. And now because I placed the switch on this side, I know this is the bottom. You can also check by hovering your lift over this and you see there's a floating spring on the bottom of this block. But that spring doesn't always show up, so it's not very consistent and I'd probably recommend you to place down a switch before you do it. So now we can place down a spring on the same side we see that other floating spring. And then we want to place a block on the top of the spring. But do be really careful because the second I place a block on the spring, it's going to teleport back over to this one and it's going to start flying really far away. So be prepared, either make a like a big cage for around this or make sure you have your lift ready so you can pick it up right away. You can also bring someone else on and tell them to just hold it on their lift like this. So as soon as you place down the, the block, it's going to start flying away, but they still have it kept on the lift. But I'm going to have to do it myself. If I don't manage to catch it, I just have to chase it down somewhere. And there we go, I caught it. After this, sh you should be left by a block laying over here. And I'm not exactly sure why this block is here, but you can just break it, we don't need it. So now we grab our weld tool and then the block at the top. Let's weld this block to the rest of the stone. And then we can also break this switch because that was just a marker for us. Now this should be one solid structure, except we have two blocks inside of each other at the bottom. And that's exactly what we want. So now I can place blocks at the top, just one single block right there. And then we can drag blocks from this block inside of the two springs. And I can break these again. So now we have two springs inside of the stone structure with two blocks at the bottom. What I want to do now is make any sort of pillar it, it doesn't need to be welded on the ground, it can be a loose structure just like that. Uh, but I'm going to keep it welded to the ground so it doesn't fly away, because as soon as I remove this from my lift, it's going to want to fly away again. So let's be prepared with our weld tool, so as soon as I leave this on the lift, we can grab it before it flies away, and then just weld it onto here. And there you go. So the first thing you notice is there's a really fast spinning block on here. We can just break that, we don't need that block. And then up here, there's a flying spring. And this is what we're interested in, because this is how the flying glitch works. We can now place blocks on top of the spring, and we basically have floating blocks. For the base down here, the only block that is really connected to the spring up here is this one right here. So make sure not to break this block, because then this spring is going to disappear. But we are, however, able to break everything else. So I can break these two, spring is still there, I can break all of these spring is still there. Just don't worry about the fact that it fell because that happens when you break the blocks. Now this should be perfectly stable. Basically this suspension think it's connected to this block but it's far away. I can show you what I mean. I can now break this and you can see how these two are connected. We now have our two structures connected together and we can break almost all of this. As you can tell they're still stuck together. It all works great. Um, I can also move this on my lift without it breaking, however many times I want. And I can also add and break blocks on both sides. The issue with this way is you see how the spring isn't directly above this, it's a bit to the side. And this spring seems to be offset by a random amount each time. 
Sometimes it's almost inside of this block, sometimes it's really far away. I haven't really found a consistent way to pr predict where the spring is going to land. If you guys figure out a way to predict where the spring is going to end up, then please do let me know because I'm really curious in how this glitch works out. So that's the issue with this glitch. But again, if you want something floating really far above the sky, this glitch won't really work because you, you have to be able to do it in one single drag. I think the way you predict the position is by the difference of when you first create that, that box with a spring on it and where you weld it to. Uh, I can also do some shenanigans like welding these two together, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything cool. It's just... It just acts like you think it should. Apparently this is a stabilizer now, so I guess that's cool too. <laughs> I'm going to be uploading a video about how to make a really cool stabilizer using this glitch. Uh, which is way smaller than this one, by the way. Uh, but that's going to have to come up in a future video. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And I'll demonstrate how to do it with pistons as well. But do keep in mind that you can crash from it. It's not going to corrupt your world, but you can still crash. And that's definitely a bit annoying. So to do it the way with the piston, you just place down a piston and a switch. And then extend the piston. And place a block, one block above the base of the piston. We can now try to find the bottom of this block. And place another piston on the bottom of that. We can also break these now. We don't need those. And then, as soon as I place a block on top of this piston, it's going to fly away, so make sure to grab it. It doesn't actually fly away nearly as much, so you don't really need to worry about that. So we want to place another block, and then weld this onto the top of the piston. Also, keep in mind that if I, if I start by welding the block onto the, the rest of the structure, then it works. But if I start by welding the structure onto the block, then it doesn't. Now that I welded that, I can place a block inside of this piston. And now I just need to weld this onto a structure. Oh no. Okay, there we go. And for some reason I get two pistons whenever I do this. Not sure why the spring only has one and this has two pistons. But that just happens, I guess. <laughs> so you should be able to break this block and it all works fine. These pistons are just the same as the spring. We can place blocks on top of these. So these are again just like flying blocks connected to this general structure. These blocks seem to get deleted for some reason. I'm not sure why. <laughs> but I mean, I guess that's a thing. Okay, that's very strange. Yeah, I definitely prefer the uh, spring method. I can try to break this piston. I, I can't break this piston for some reason. Okay, so, <laughs> so yeah, I can't place blocks under it, they get deleted, and if I delete the piston, it's unbreakable. So, I mean, I guess that's a thing. I should be able to break it by breaking the blocks over here, but, um, yeah, this is very annoying. So, let's just, yeah, as you can see, I just got a, a bug splat error. <laughs> My scrap mechanic crashed, but it's not going to craft your world, so if I just load up scrap mechanic once more, uh, I should be able to rejoin the world and it should be still still be fine. All the other things should still be there. And yeah, as you can tell, I can also relog and these will still be here. So don't worry about relogging. Uh, same with these, they stay here even if you do relog. So if you make a base, it's not going to just fall apart whenever you relog. And uh, apparently don't place blocks under these because that's going to crash your game. <laughs> So that's a no-no. I'm guessing above is also dangerous, right? No, it's not. Oh! Well, now this broke. Yeah, I... <laughs> oh, wait, okay. Okay, um... <laughs> yeah, that's how to do the glitch, basically. And I've been... I spent like five hours in this world trying to experiment with this glitch. Five hours isn't that much, but I felt the need to upload this video even if I'm unable to explain every single mechanic. Just because... I feel like you guys deserve watching and also being able to help me experience with this glitch instead of me just keeping it to myself until I mastered it. So definitely feel free to spread this glitch to other people and uh, give me some credit if you can. And yeah, I'm going to be uploading a video where me and a friend of mine, Frog, 
are going to be experimenting with this glitch together so look forward to that we're going to have like mini challenges where we try to come up with creative designs and if you guys manage to find something cool with this then yeah definitely make sure to let me know in the comments or join our gloom canic discord server and tell me about it there it should all be in the description so yeah, just go down there and find everything. Also, all of this works in survival, so don't worry about it not working. Uh, it, it all works fine in survival, the same as it does in creative. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you learned something from this. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.